Let's go to our Public Strategies LLC. A tip for you to consider in 2024 is number one, like I said in previous segments, that the Latino voter is a persuadable voter. It's not a base voter. You should be engaging them in the primaries right into the November election. They need to be engaged so they can identify to the party. There's a high proportion of the Latino voter that are swing voters. They're independent. They, they blow with the wind. That's why you see certain counties down in South Texas actually show up red every once in a while. And, uh, and it's because of that independent vote base. And as a candidate, if you're able to engage them and motivate them to vote, you'll be able to do so. The thing that you need to be aware of, that, it, that you need to be in Spanish and in English. And what's different today and what, what happened in 22, which I'm very confident will happen again in 24, the Republican Party is gonna spend a significant sum of money in targeted districts, in state elections, and in federal elections. In inventory that's available on Spanish TV and English TV are gonna dry up in a hurry. Now, what does that do? It drives price up. Now, as candidates, you have pricing. It's pretty, pretty stable. But the inventory piece can get locked down and block you out. And so, so it's important as a candidate to be budgeting their spends in the Spanish media and the English media if, if the composition of your districts merit it. And so, so the tip is plan early, place early reservations in Spanish and English. Don't wait till the last minute because if you wait till the last minute, the inventory may not even be there. And so, uh, so then you'll be basically rowing a boat without paddles. And so, uh, so my suggestion is get in early and stay focused and go win.